Well, since the former Ramsey McCormick building Magnolia was torn down two and a half years ago, filling in its former foundation is all that's been done out here, and that was finished last fall. Now a local attorney is asking a judge to force the city and the developer to deliver on their promises. Group is in a pudding. Antonio Sperling's patience is running thin. As a downtown Ensley business owner, he's still waiting to see progress where the city promised economic revival. I think the community is, is not frustrated. I think the community is disappointed. And we're disappointed with uh, government. We're disappointed with the mayor. You see, 11 years ago, Sperling sued Birmingham over this lot when the former dilapidated Ramsey McCormick building towered above. He demanded it be renovated or replaced. The court order is against the city of Birmingham. In 2016, a judge ruled in his favor, ordering the city to fix up the property within three years. Here's what's happened since. In 2019, Birmingham gave a developer a $4 million contract to transform the property. Two years later, crews tore down the 1929 structure to make room for a new five-story office building. Then last November, the former foundation was finally filled in. So four years after the developer was hired, Sperling is still staring at a blank slate. They've been given up to $4 million for this project. Do you see $4 million worth of progress behind you? Absolutely not. I'm clearly, there's, this does not represent a $4 million investment by the city of Birmingham. That prompted Sperling to recently file this motion in the case, demanding new construction deadlines with a per day fine for not meeting them. There is nothing vertical over there on that site except for weeds and a flimsy, raggedy fence. During this status call last week, developer Erwin Henderson argued they were still nailing down all the construction financing. There's no one that wants to close quicker than we do. Uh, we've had positive information uh, from all of our uh, lenders and all of our equity providers. But when Will Sperling and his surrounding business owners see progress, the original development contract called for substantial completion by last summer. The developer once told us it would open by the end of last year. Last week, Henderson offered. We expect to be able to move ahead very soon. But even with the pandemic, supply chain complications, and the current financial climate, Sperling feels the developer is running out of excuses. This project should have already been done, even despite the market forces and the conditions by which we're in, uh, because it has not stopped other projects. When the work does begin, another $2 million from the city will be pumped into the project. Well, Antonio Sperling's recent motion has been granted. A judge has set a status update hearing for December 15th. We will be there and bring you the very latest on the plan to finally fill in this blank lot behind me. Live in Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13 investigates. All right.